Hey, what's going on guys? Oscar Mini here and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the most affordable smartphone with a pop-up camera, which is a Huawei Y9 Prime. I've basically had the smartphone for about 4 days now and used it as my daily driver and only device without a pack-up device. So I feel at this point I can talk about the pros and the cons and everything in between about the smartphone. So without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. Before we head into the full review, let's roll up the unboxing. The first thing you are greeted with while opening the box is the phone itself in a little plastic bag. Next is the envelope that houses the plastic case to protect this device, your SIM ejector tool and the user guide. Keeping those aside, you get to see the 10 watt charger, the USB Type-C cable, yeah USB Type-C, the nice looking earphones and that will be all for the unboxing experience. Now those are out of the way, let's take a closer look at the Huawei Y9 Prime itself. Setting it up took roughly 2 minutes and you get to realize you only have the fingerprint which was pretty fast to set up, pattern or pin options for security and no face unlock feature. I'm gonna get back to that in a bit. Talking about the design of the Y9 Prime, it really feels sturdy, heavy and bulky with a kind of two-tone glossy finish at the polycarbonate rear and the color I decided to go with here is a midnight black option. While still at the rear of the smartphone, you get to see a triple camera setup which includes the 16 megapixel main shooter, the 8 megapixel wide angle lens for ultra wide shots, the 2 megapixel depth sensing lens typical of 2019 and an LED flash. A little lower is a fingerprint sensor and more so is the Huawei branding. The left side is quite bland while the top is obviously tangy with a hybrid dual SIM tray, a secondary microphone and a motorized pop-up 16 megapixel selfie camera. An amazing thing about this front facing shooter with an aperture of f2.0 is that it retracts on sensing a drop. The bottom side of the Y9 Prime features a 3.5mm jack for your headphones, a mouthpiece opening and yes USB Type-C port, something we've almost always missed out on entry mid-range devices and then the speaker grills which can be easily blocked off while gaming. The right side isn't anything special as it features a volume rocker and the power button like most other smartphones in 2019. Amazingly, the Huawei Y9 Prime features approximately a 6.6 inch HD display. It's actually a 6.59 inch panel with a screen to battery ratio of 84.3% and 391 ppi density. It is a pretty bright panel that can easily be used outdoors and you can calibrate this display to suit your needs from the display settings. YouTube videos can be streamed at up to 1080p with no notch to obstruct your viewing experience and color representation is quite great and you can calibrate it to your feel. More so, you get to see the earpiece hinge at the top side of the display. One more thing to point out about this curved corner display is the fact that you also lose some part of whatever you view in full screen to those corners. Just thought I should point that out. Let's get to the cameras here. The rear as said earlier features a triple camera setup with a 16 megapixel main lens, 8 megapixel wide angle lens and 2 megapixel depth sensing lens for portrait mode photos. There are a bunch of modes here but I'm gonna stick to the regular portrait and night mode from the smartphone in this review. With the night mode turned on, you could turn dark photos into usable ones without having to use a flash as can be seen in these photos. This could come in as a handy feature and I'm glad they threw this in here. Photos from the main shooter in well lit environment and subjects were pretty usable but I'm being honest here, there are several less priced devices that do a better job at taking photos than the Y9 Prime. We've known Huawei to be great at their photo game but the Y9 doesn't totally represent the brand in that regard if you wish to know my opinion. Color representation is a little bit off. The wide angle lens on the other hand took less sharp images than the main as expected and the photos again are usable but could be better. Maybe a software update might be able to fix these things, I even have received a camera update and I hope they will update us with something to get us better photos. Portrait mode isn't the best in the world as can be seen here, I mean it's kinda hit and miss with the edges. You can also shoot full HD videos with a rear camera and can switch between wide and main lens while recording. The front 
front-facing camera, which is a motorized pop-up 16 megapixel sensor, takes decent photos both in portrait and normal photo mode with a beautification thingy going on here and needs good lighting to come out well. For my test, it took roughly 1.2 seconds for the camera to pop up and I think it's a little slower than all the pop-up cameras we've seen in 2019. You can get the front camera to take decent photos, but these photos weren't that crisp. Again, this is just my opinion. Video from the front camera can go up to 1080p also and here is a sample. Hey guys, it's Kimini here and this is a front camera video and audio test for the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019. Um, obviously, it isn't the best in the world in terms of color representation, but um, it's something one can use and um, get used to. I actually did have high hopes for the camera and it turned out to be mediocre. I mean, that's just average. Performance here is pretty much good as the Y9 Prime comes with the high silicon Kirin 710F processor, which is a 12 nanometer octa core processor. This device features 4GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage which can be expanded with a micro SD card of up to half a terabyte. This RAM size means you can get pretty well with multitasking as I have no complaints so far. This device is pretty smooth and gaming was really enjoyable as I have played games like Brothers in Am, Asphalt and PUBG on medium settings without any noticeable lag or overheating. Navigation and accessibility is really a breeze on this device and can easily change your accessibility settings by going to settings, system and then system navigation. For security, you have the fingerprint sensor as the only biometric option. You do not get the face unlock and that makes sense since the pop-up camera takes a little while to pull up and that will make the experience quite a terrible one. Moreover, you wouldn't want to have your selfie camera moving always as moving parts are generally prone to wear and tear. The Huawei Y9 Prime ships with EMUI 9.0.1 and Android 9 Pie out of the box and EMUI has been optimized to give you a long lasting battery experience here. Speaking of battery life, you have a 4000mAh powerhouse here which takes roughly 2.5 hours to charge up from 0 to 100% using the 10 watt charger included in the box. From my test it took 6 minutes to get me 30% charge from 23 to 53% and battery in here could easily last you 2 days of use as I was able to pull over to the next day with intense use and being connected to my Wi-Fi network. When it comes to pricing, you get this baby for about $230 which converts to 84,000 Naira in Nigeria and approximately 13,000 pesos in the Philippines and honestly considering the specs, performance, battery life and except for the camera, this device is quite a steal. So would I recommend the Huawei Y9 Prime to anyone in search of a mid-range affordable and all-round performing smartphone right now? Heck yeah, I'll give this device a 7 out of 10 when rating entry-level mid-range devices. Just know that the camera isn't the strength of the Y9 Prime and we might get to see a software update to that effect in the future, at least hopefully. So there you have it, my review on the Huawei Y9 Prime. Do let me know what you think about the smartphone in the comment section below. And um, if you did love this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you felt otherwise, give it a thumbs down twice. If this is your first time on this channel, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification icon to stay notified when I upload new videos. Other than that, it's goodbye. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Creed